guys. Today is the day I'm supposed to be going to the track, or I am going to the track. I'm trying to get everything loaded up so I can leave, and um, I figured I would record this and shove it in the video at some point, whether it's the beginning, the end, or somewhere. But uh, I figured I'd show you guys the how things don't always go the way you want them to go. I was putting fuel in the car, and uh, well, now I have a leak, the V85. I was trying to figure out where it was leaking from. Well, Luckily, it was coming from the top of the tank and not a line. It's coming from the top of this fuel pump hat right there where the dang wires are. It ate, I must have overfilled the tank. It ate away the Honda Bond and started just pissing out of there. So, I've been sitting here. With this little bucket, as you can see, there's a bunch of fuel in there. This little bucket pulled the return line off, and I've just been turning the key in that little bucket, and well, turning the key, priming the fuel system so the return spits out fuel enough to get the level in the tank to go down so that it would quit coming out of the wires, and I can grab Honda Bond and shove new Honda Bond in there and hopefully seal it up and not put any more fuel in until after I've made a few passes and burned some off and try not to overfill this thing. I mean, we're going to basically burn it until she starts sputtering because, yeah, um, that's the first. Uh, clearly, there was more fuel left in the tank than I thought there was from last season or whenever I last put fuel in it. So A quick little update. Now I'm going to get back to fixing this, and then hopefully the next clip or whenever I'm at that racetrack. A few moments later... Okay guys, so no, we're not at the racetrack yet, but I wanted to fill you in on my lake of a leak, my leak of a lake. So here we got Honda Bond. I went and bought myself this little syringe. Um, it's funny, they asked me uh, what kind of cattle I'm medicating. I'm like, uh, a Honda Civic? And uh, the guy's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> but anyways, so it was leaking out these wires here. I caked the living shit out of it, and hopefully that solves our issues as long as I don't overfill it with fuel. We should be okay. I primed the fuel system, and there's nothing leaking. So, it had nothing to do with that. It wasn't the lines. I'm almost positive. It, it was, well, I am positive. It was that, that dang hole where the wires come out. But it's not leaking out of that now. I got some hot bond on there. Let that cure. Um, come back up here the return line I put that back on that's not leaking that's good so we should be good to go I don't see any other fuel leaks anywhere which shouldn't have any I just ran the car the other day and uh, there were no fuel leaks the other day when I was running the car and I had it fired up and I mean I drove it on the trailer we went down for the chassis cert didn't have any leaks then either so I think I just there was too much fuel in the tank and that was the weak point there and i just said no nope, i'm going out the hole so hopefully we're good to go now that's fixed just don't overfill it with fuel and if we do well we're gonna have a lake and we'll have to drain it down and just play uh rochambeau with that hole unless my honda bond actually holds it's probably like i was gonna use sika flex 221 but this tube um i use this on the uh carbon fiber sunroof plug forever ago so that tube is solid as a rock and i couldn't get it out but i was like that stuff will seal it up that stuff seals everything up but in the future if anything i get some more sika flex put it on there if this thing continues to leak but anyways that's the update now um next time you guys see me probably be at the racetrack so yeah see you there what's going on children it is the next day and we're at track and uh it's actually a really nice day out today Got the wheeler here. Evans 370. Civics across the street. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of fast cars here. Um, we were checking them out last night. I didn't film anything last night. Uh, just kind of hanging out and um, all that jazz. Uh, tech starts at 10. So a couple hours from now. Um, tech starts. Drag racing starts around noon. And um, yeah. Hopefully get this thing down the track, do an A to B pass, and not break anything. Try to go fast. Try to dip into those tens. Hang with uh hang with Brad. But 
we'll see what happens. Um, this morning I got to get the slicks on the car and uh, did two-step check last night. That does work, but yeah, I need to get the slicks on the car and get it ready to go to tech. So it shouldn't take too long, but I get this knocked out. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna shut up now. So, got the car teched, and uh, everything looks good on it so far. I don't know. Hope for the best. Um, Brad also got his car teched. And check out these sweet fenders. Sticker bombed. Have a sign. Fender's sick, dude. Yeah, cars are teched, ready to go as ready as we're gonna get them. Um, drag starts at noon and it's like 11.40 right now, so we have like 20 minutes. And then we can go up and make our first passes and hope for the best. Hopefully put down some decent times and not, uh, not blow these cars up. I lost my hat somewhere. I don't know where it is. I went to take my sweatshirt off. I think I set it on top of the car and then I forgot to grab it as I got in the car. And then I drove across the track and I think it blew away somewhere. So if you guys see my hat flying around in the sky, I'm gonna grab it. Alright guys, here we go, first pass. Wish me luck. We're gonna have happy at the end of this. Not this half. best pass well it's uh, that is the best pass I've made in this car I mean, obviously you can see that 60 foot was trash at 25 but we went a 13 0 at 106 which the best last summer was a 13 2 um, I feel like this thing had a lot more in it uh, I might have shifted early on a third pretty sure I did I you know I, I'm like shaking I got the jitters but Brad went a 10 8 at 135 at a 1960 foot he had a really good run. Me, not so good. A ton of room for improvement, that's for sure. But it's only the first pass. I didn't break it. I drove it back here, so that's a plus. But I gotta let the thing cool down because it is super hot. Fire. 
next morning. Good morning. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Yeah, well, hopefully. It... Confidence. Confidence, baby. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to. Get this thing warmed up. You starting at nine? All right, guys, so it's day two. And hopefully, we can get the car back there down the track in a full pass without hitting boost cut 900 times. Brad got kicked off yesterday for the 135. He's too fast, he's too spicy. Um, I car would probably be in the same boat if we could actually make a full pass. So, uh, just waiting for uh, them to call test and tune up, make a hit, get some data, figure out what the hell's going on. Try to join the fast boy club, with Brad. And yeah, that's today. Something 
Get out. Get out of here. <laughs> She ended me at the fucking slip. Hey, nice slip 11. Slip hunt. Let's go. I mean, I fucking couldn't get her in fourth. Stop that lock. Couldn't get her in fourth. <laughs> oh, so that was on you? Yeah. I was curious. I was coming back and forth and it wouldn't go in. I'm like, fucking fuck. <laughs> you gotta push the clutch in. Finally, I got it in there and I'm like, yeah, oh, fuck. How did it feel though? Because you left hard. Oh, it's all good. It's, it's it's all spicy. Like, yeah. You see where they let me sit though? One eight. Okay. Yeah, I did. You're right in the mural. One eight six is what? Oh yeah. Oh shit, Mark. Did he know the training night? What's a 60? 28. Ooh. Ooh, 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 That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. We still have time to get kicked off today. What the fuck was that? Yeah. You said we was about two hours of running left. Yep. So let's cool off for thing. a little bit. I'll yep. let it cool down. Now we eat my freezing. This video's gonna turn off fucking good. It's gonna be long as fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, I remember day one was me and Mark, you know, it's all day. And now I just filming this fucker all day. And I can't wait, because I got a shit to clown on. Womp. 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 I still don't think now anything, he... nothing's gonna be the first one I get right. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> So that last pass was an 11.7 at 129. So we're six mile an hour from being like, getting the boot like Brad did. Um, 
I haven't really done an update in this video other than me just making passes, so here's your update. This is why I kept spike in boost and hitting 30 PSI and hitting boost cut every single run. So we assume diaphragm in this is torn and junk and uh, we put Brad's wastegate on and now we can control boost. Um, the electronic solenoid is now doing what it's supposed to be doing and it's holding boost. So now we're playing with the launch, playing with boost in the gear uh, per each gear and kind of dialing it in. We're gonna make another hit here. As soon as the car cools down, next 20, 30 minutes or so, try to get another hit in. Hopefully run a 10, hopefully uh, break that 135 mile an hour and uh, go party. So next clip, we'll obviously be back on the line running the car, but I wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't really said anything as we've been working on the car. Uh, I guess the other things I could tell you quick, we broke a brake line, uh, bracket came loose, line caught the wheel, broke a brake line, so we had to fix that. We had the boost issue, so we played around with manual boost controllers and then we just tried running on gate when we put brads in and it worked fine so we knew that we had a problem here so anyways yeah like i said um i get back to uh another hit and hopefully we go tense everyone american hero showed up look at that guy <laughs> shenanigans kids shenanigans don't, ruin your well, fucking, don't tell me how to live my life dude has got the epic beard man. dude jesus throw the razor away beard fam <laughs> all right guys so i ran an 11 7 11 7 Whoa. No. 11 7 yeah it was 11 yeah, 7 11 7 at 129 yeah six miles an hour away from getting kicked off and uh, yeah, that's what happened. Um, ran another pass, didn't go as well. Uh, 18 pounds in the second gear. And then after that, it was supposed to be hitting like 24 pounds in third and fourth, and it was like 16. 
it spiked at like 16 and stayed there. Don't know why. It was the last hit of the day, so we didn't get to try it again to make sure, like, wasn't just a fluke run. So, it is what it is. But we win 11-7. That was the best that we got out of the car today. And I'm glad that we finally got a full pass in it. So, um, yeah. Now we're at night drifting. Getting ready to watch these cars go sideways in the dark. And, you know, maybe maybe enjoying a few of these um, cans of corn while we do it. So, anyways, I'm going to switch over to just some montage of a bunch of random shit whatever I film throughout the night, and then we'll close this video out after that, so enjoy. I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it, a life worth living is a life with meaning, I'll do what I love till my heart stops beating, 